Hi, and welcome to this um, mega creation Zoom um, that I invited everybody to join that would like to just create more. I often do these calls in the beginning of the year just to inspire, contribute, uh, maybe even help you guys out how to look at a totally new year that we have in front of us and see what's truly possible if we don't have judgments and conclusions and projections, expectations, and also willing to trust ourselves and go with our knowing and ask questions. You're welcome to ask any questions about creation here. This is my perspective, how I use the access consciousness tools in my daily life, in my business, in my life, with people, with my clients, with everybody. So it's not, this is the only way you do it, or this is the right way. It's just my perspective and the fun I have with it, because I enjoy it a lot. Uh, I, I enjoy a lot of creation. I love business and money and interaction with people. I'm very social. <laughs> that is very interesting. <laughs> um, so this is a little bit of my inspiration to you, but please ask questions. Yes, and it's full of access consciousness tools. If you have never heard about it and you hear this the first time, it might be a little different and odd and go with it. See what works for you. Try it out. And some things might not be totally simple in the first time you hear it um, or just different we'll see so please please go ahead with ask anything as well and you can interrupt me at any time i'm just going to start with what i do when i look at because for me this is not like budget planet or planning or i have to plan my whole year and know exactly what i do i first look at i often just take a little moment and look at the last year and just grasp it energetically what i've been willing to change choose create and I appreciate the things that I have chosen. I also acknowledge them. I look at them like, huh, am I willing to be grateful for what I am, what I be, what I choose, what I changed, what I chose to do and be in my life? And it's very interesting sometimes just to look at that. I'd usually take a couple of days with that because sometimes you just go to certain energies and then when you look at it again, you're willing to go a little bit deeper because I've seen a lot when I appreciate and acknowledge myself, things change the way I create as well because I don't want to really necessarily create from the energy that it wasn't good enough, it was bad or I have to change a lot more because it's not doing well because that comes also with attachments of like let's say judgments and points of views and often an energy that is not very uplifting. There might be things I say, hey, that's not good enough for me or I have not done my best, but then I also destroy and uncreate any points of views I have in that area. And that, that takes the time it takes if I'm willing to do it with myself. Because sometimes we look at things and then we basically avoid it or let it go and we don't really care about it or we don't even know what to do with it. Instead of just, okay, if I have a point of view about myself, am I willing to be that kind and caring and let it go? And this is specifically also I do with business and creation because I don't want to create from an energy that was yesterday or last year or the last years. So I want to invite everything I can be today and start from that point. So I use that energy and look at, because it doesn't really matter if now it's the 10th of January or this was the 10th of February, it really doesn't really matter. The fun for me is like, just like, I have a whole year in front of me. It's like, it's this fun thing. Like you open a book and you, it's the first page or you have to rewrite it yourself or something that it's so new. Uh, so we, if you look at 2021, you could look at, there's a lot of space. You can also start projecting the things you don't like with 2021 already uh, or, oh God, 2020 was so bad or not. Whatever, you know, experience we have or things going on around us, it's easy to look at a year and like, mm, this is my night and goes good or wow, it's going to be amazing. I mean, in the beginning of 2020, I think we, not so many of us knew that it would be a very, very, very different year. And the thing is now we're getting used to a very different year time but I also look at my creations not from that energy I'm aware that whatever is going on in the world is going on in the world there will be practical things I have to look at but energetically when I start creating creating for me is asking questions getting aware of things uh, allowing ideas to show up I don't go through a filter if it's possible to create or if it's hard or it's 
it doesn't work, I first allow every, like anything to show up. So what would I like to create? You can like, I, I take the 2021 just as an example, you can do the next 10 years. I often do a year and then I also look at 10, 15, 20 years ahead energetically. It doesn't matter how many years, but further away from what I can grasp, like I see 12 months ahead, it's easier for my brain to understand. But then if I look at next five to 10 years, it's harder for your brain to start figuring it out. So I, I look at different energies, but like, let's look at 2021. If we energetically are willing to let go of whatever we have created. So everything you have created until now, will you destroy and create all your points of views, judgments, conclusions, projections, expectations of them? So everything doesn't allow that, can we destroy and create it? Get a bad, right, wrong, put a fuck, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And that's something I do a couple of times because it's so easy to bring along your past into the now. It's the same with relationships. We often bring in the past and the now and it creates more conflicts. Because if you have created something in 2020 where it did not work out and you still have a some kind of point of view about it or some kind of like taste in your mouth, oh, it wasn't so good or I didn't do so well with my business, you are coming with a pre, like almost a, almost a decision that, well, it's not only a decision, but you bring in, like, I'm just going to say, it's like a taste into your business, a little bad taste into your business, if you have a point of view. And we want to basically allow it to be totally open for you to create something new. So whatever you already created or didn't work out, you what you have is a lot more awareness. One thing you always have is awareness. And that's something nobody can take away from you. So you have a lot more information, awareness, possibilities with you already as you chose whatever you chose, even if you so-called did not create the best things, with that information, you can create greater. But if I judge it not to be good or I didn't create or I wasn't successful, you also stop the possibilities in that moment for it to even contribute to you. So the next step is, are you a willing? Are you willing? And would you allow the universe, the world, and everything to contribute to you and your business? You, your business creation. For me, these are things are the same because I will most likely say business or creation, but it can be the same for all of us. So if you have, if you don't have a physical business, it, it means then creation because we are creating our lives. So are you willing and would you allow the universe, the world and everything to contribute to you? So everywhere you're not allowing this, and this is where I use the clearing statement, statement to let go of the energies that I use to stop myself. So everything you're not allowing yourself to allow this and choose this, will you destroy and create it? Good and bad, right and wrong, front and park, all nine shorts, boys and meals. If you're totally new to access, I'm using something called the clearing statement to let go of energies that are stuck in the moment. And this is, for me, this is like a playful energy to change things in my life. Um, you don't have to, because if you just change them in the moment, that's what we're doing. We're changing things. So would you allow the universe to contribute to you? even if you don't understand what that means. And would you discern and create your expectations, what it means the universe to contribute to you? So then the question I also look at, what expectations do I have? Because that's also good energy to know because often when there's expectations, I might not be willing to do and be what's required. So expectations are one of the things in creation for me that stops me from being active in my creations. So if I have no expectations, how can, what questions can I ask? What possibilities would I be willing to invite? You know, when you're, um, I don't know, if you're in a relationship and you expect somebody to make you dinner or to bring you flowers and they don't, you're kind of waiting so, so it doesn't happen or it happens. Your like, expectation can go both ways instead of you could buy them yourself. You could cook yourself. What if, everything, what if everything could contribute to you, but you don't have to wait either? So it says, can you do pot and pock um, old relationships from last year? 
if it didn't was good for well you can the thing is just trying to create your relationships i do it with good and bad so it's not only oh i'll just try and create the energy of the bad relationships or bad experiences yes please do that and please gift yourself that gift yourself that possibility to get free from the energy of the experiences that didn't work out well because if i have an experience that didn't work out and i bring it on in the future you always have that energy that taste that bad taste with you and you react in a certain way through the filter of that experience if it's only experience and you have no reactions anymore against it it is also information and awareness to you but you don't go through the filter and stop yourself from the possibilities that are there for everybody that's the beautiful things with all these things with expectations and possibilities if i have points of views i will not be able to see all the possibilities because i have a filter it's like filter every point of view i have is a filter and i will see the world through that filter and it will um not allow me to see what's actually possible and all the questions that i ask will go through the filters as well what i receive from them because my point of view. I always want to make my point of view right. Uh, so those will be very interesting uh, throughout the times. But okay, let's go back to 2021. Would I be willing to allow the universe to contribute to me? So I ask that all the time. Am I willing to allow the world to contribute to me? Am I willing to allow everybody to contribute to me without expectations? <laughs> that's that's one of the energies that might be sometimes a little tricky is the expectations um what if truly everything wants to contribute to you but we don't allow it because we think we have to do it all ourselves or we have to figure everything out beforehand so 2021 is for me when i look at the future i look i ask hey what would i like to create what would my business like to create what would i like to create with my business what would my business like to create with me so I play with all these things to look from different aspects. My business or creations or projects, they all for me personally have an own energy. So they have, it's like an entity. I talk to the energy of it. So acknowledging that it has awareness, it also means I ask what the business or the creation wants to create with me. It doesn't mean it gives me a solid answer. There might be no answers in the way I would like them, most likely not, <laughs> but there might be some inputs and some ideas that come along. This way I do this, I don't do this one time and then it's over. I often take one, two, three weeks in asking questions and looking at different things, especially when I really would like to invite something totally different. There's certain things that will just be active and you get some ideas and then you just want to go and grab it and institute it and get it into action. And that's awesome. Um, would I also allow it to be a, like a little bit of a longer space for things to show up that I don't necessarily directly have on my head? Like some things are just here, like wanting to talk to me or, or I have the idea already. So I would just want to get going. And those are fun. But sometimes I allow just new things also to have time to show up. Um, so what would I like to create in 2021? What if there... So, if I look at the energy of, if I really would just try and create the things I'm working with today, like my business or the way I live, and I would not have it, there was nothing going on. And I had really the possibility to create anything and money was not an issue. And this is how I look at energies and possibilities for me. So I take out the question of money wasn't the, wasn't the problem, what would I choose? And this is where I look at totally different projects, different ideas. Um, I allow them to show up because it's very easy to go in the same direction as I have been creating the last couple of years or months or things like that. And they might be exactly what I want to continue with. So that's nothing wrong. Most people do have lots more ideas, but they don't invite them. So when you start asking, hey, what would I like to create? If everything was possible, what would I like to create? And this is where I look at one year, five year, 10 years, because some of the ideas might not be the things that I that get into action in 2021, 
that might be just a couple of ideas that start moving. It might take longer time. Uh, there's different time aspects on, on creations, right? So you don't have to, if it doesn't show up the time you'd like, what if you allowed it to show up when, when you're also willing to receive it and also with the, with the contribution of the whole world? So that can be very different. And I don't try to create things that are the solution for the problem I decided I have. So if I decide, for example, that money is my issue or I don't have enough clients, in the moment of looking at and exploring 2021, I, don't, I am aware of that point of view or that situation, but I don't determine my actions or my ideas. Because for me, it's like the creation part is the idea part, the question and it's coming and there might be things up and up. Uh, things might just pop up in my head uh, or I see something on the TV or whatever, you know, the inspiration, like, oh, that would be cool. I'd love to go in that direction. Um, so in that moment, I don't try to filter if, if I can do it, if I have money, if it's possible. I don't do that in that moment. It's really grasping the things that would be truly fun for you to create that have basically no limitations. We often have a filter of time money issues and a family or whatever limitations we make real and it can be that the money is not there for that creation definitely but then we start instituting things we start then there's the action aspect of it and that can be very different for different projects what i've noticed with myself everything i commit to i create the things i don't commit to i usually don't create them but I also look at the thing, if it's a fantasy or it's an energy, yes, if I have a million dollars or euros, then everything will be great. Oh, I'll, I'll challenge getting $1 million because that's in this world, this million dollar, million euro, it has become a very significant number amount of amount that seems to be the, the solution for a lot of things. And that's when I like, I just try and I create that and be like, that's not relevant. That is the voice of other people. So you're, if you can show that you created so much money, then you're successful. I'm like, nah. so then it would be the next question. What is success? And are you willing to choose things that create so much joy in your world that you never ever want to stop doing it or creating it? Is the joy aspect included in your creations? in your business and everywhere where you're trying to solve a problem in your creations. Can we just try and create that? Get in bed, right, wrong, from fuck, all nine shirts, boys, meows. You can find and figure those out too. But when I look at this, like a whole year in front of me, I don't try to look at the problem fixing thing because those are often very small things, very, very linear from your head. For me, it's first like looking at total direction you want to go. It's not even that you know them very clear. It can be that you'd like to, I don't know, work with more with animals or you want to write a book or you want to get some writing done. Because often we try to figure out the detail of something that we want to create instead of the direction of something you'd like to create. So the direction, the energy of. And you don't have to figure out the details of it. And you can. So we're very different. Everybody's different in this area. Some people are very like, they want to get to know the detail of what they're creating. And some people have a, very, a sense of it. And you can have both of them. Just be aware if you want to control the details. So for example, if you have an energy, now let's say we would be totally, oh, I want to travel more, or I want to create a school, or I want to, um, I don't know, change career, whatever it is. What if you allow the energy of that to contribute to you and not try to figure out how that looks and what I have to do and who do I have to, uh, what I have to change here? Like going directly into the solution of the creation. I look at the direction at where I would like to head. And then I also start asking questions about that. So whatever area, if, if it's something that is totally undefined, I often have different ones. Then I start asking about it, like, what does that really look like? How much fun could I have here? 
universe, can you show me a different way of creating? Like different for me means not as I used to do. So it's not that it was wrong, but just a totally, as well, often I say a totally different way. Because uh, I want to invite things and impulses and ideas that I have not chosen yet. And it's, for me, it's fun because when I ask, it starts showing up. It's like starts because I have, it's almost like then I don't have it already determined how it should show up or what I have to do. So it's basically, I'm just like, okay, it's totally new. But then, and then I, and I am more willing to receive when I don't know the how. The how is not my job. The how to is for me the questions uh, to create with the universe and the universe also creating with me. So for me, the universe is my best business partner. Second best, I think, are the animals. But first is the universe. And the universe, everything's included, right? So you guys are also included in this. Um, but it's an energy that I know is possible so, to, like, to co-create with me. Um, I think it must be now in February, two years ago, I think, again, years is not my best thing. Um, Gary had this class, Lies, Lines, and Manipulation at the Castle. It must be two years. Um, and he talked about trust, commitment, and one thing that he, and contribution. And one thing that was so clear when he talked about it, because he was talking about creation, um, lies, lies, manipulation had a lot of things about creation. And then he's talked about, so anything he would like to create, and he asked a question. He, his question is always if it will create more consciousness on the planet. So the castle we were sitting in in Italy, that was this question. If he chooses this, what will it create? If 5, 10, 50, 500 years, and will it, will it be a, like this energy of contribution to everything and, con and creating more consciousness? And it was so clear for him that it was a yes. And then he said also, in when he creates, he knows 100%, whatever he chooses, he knows 100% that consciousness has his back. Like consciousness, universe is 100% there for him. That doesn't mean it solves everything and it, then, it, then he doesn't have to do anything. No, he just knows it will be created. It will come to fruition. He's still required in every bit of creation, like talking to people, asking questions, being part of everything, looking at different things. He still is required in every moment, but he knows without a doubt that consciousness has his back and everything he chooses. And that energy of trust and knowing that he had, and it was so clear. So I was sitting there like, wow. And I could see myself doubting in some areas where they were still allowing to doubt. And I was like, oh, okay. No, I'm not totally committed here. Because any commitment, if you commit to something 100%, there is no... There's no doubt. There is no, nothing that really stops you from creating. We use a lot of these, in access, we call them distractor implants uh, to stop our creations. And then we think we can't do them, but basically we're using something against ourselves. So a lot of the things that we see, instead of like, if somebody says, oh, you can't do that. Oh no, it doesn't work. Oh, mm, that didn't work out. It's a, but how could I do it? What's truly possible here? If everything was possible, what would I do and be here? So there's always questions that can create a possibility. If you're not, well, I don't know. I'm, there's, I'm sure there's some creations I wouldn't necessarily go for this. If you wanna be very illegal or do things weird stuff, it might not work with consciences as well. But if you're willing to create more with the planet, it might be very interesting to ask, ask because in this moment it's very easy if you look out in the world to have some point of view why something will not work it's one of the things that shows up in every session at the moment it's some of the points of view this reality there might be things that are less create like for example i can't go to every country at the moment and facilitate physical classes okay that is uh correct at the moment if I did, it might entail a lot of risk problems and I could still do it, but it will include a lot of interesting things, right? So I don't have to force things into existence, but I could look, huh, 
what else is possible with these classes that I have not yet imagined? And am I willing to create things for the future now? Like what are the different things I can look instead of like the only thing I do is have a physical class? No, it's not. But it's very easy to somehow get hangups in the way we did it before that worked so well that might not work now and there's some restriction in place and then we make the restriction the problem so the restriction has to change so i can have my business again that is a very linear way of thinking instead of allowing allowing everything to contribute and allowing everything to create with you because at the moment there's so many possibilities but we're not asking for them always so you have you basically have infinite possibilities all the time, all the time, all the time. We get very linear in our heads. So if you stop asking questions, you won't get information that is there basically waiting to be given to you. It's waiting for you to ask. So what questions are you not willing to ask? Because it might create so many possibilities. So you'd have to stop complaining or there won't be a problem anymore. But yeah, and we have to be creative. So one of the things also that I see people that want to do the same all the time or decided how their job or their business is, it is sometimes a bit tougher then. But if I just chatted with a guy, with a friend, I haven't talked to him for a long, long time. And he was in the theater business. He, he's an um, artist and uh, artist. Um, now I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm like, what is he? Oh, he's, he's a little bit famous, but again, he doesn't have anything to do because he works in the theater here. He had basically zero work. And then he said, well, I, I was like very handy. I loved working on buildings and homes and all that. So I'm doing that. That's kind of like my um, saving thing at the moment, it saved him from not doing anything, right? So he got really, really happy that he could do something, but it's still like surviving energy in his world and still like it could be thriving and created more. And this is where people are trying to solve their problems instead of creating their lives. Uh, I'm sure he's still holding on for quite a bit to going back to the fear of tears. And I think he loves that as well. But then we find just solutions instead of creating. So how many solutions do you have in place that you could be creating your life beyond beyond what you can think about. So how many solutions do you try to find instead of creating your business and your life? So every solution that you're trying to figure out, can we destroy and create them? Get a better at Rome from fuck online shorts, boys and girls. Do you guys have any questions? Mm -hmm. send a, a chat. I did take that one. There's no more questions in the chat. Just wanted to open up in case you wanted to. And if you don't speak English, that's fine. You can say it in German too. <laughs> I can translate. <laughs> so that's a good thing when you have a lot of languages. So one, one thing else I wanted to address is the energy of possibilities instead of answers. So for, for your creations, are you trying to figure out the right way to create or are you willing to invite possibilities? I know the answer thing is, is tricky because we are so um used to or would like to have the right answer for things because then we know what we should do uh we know what we should choose what if you never needed the right answer but you're willing to choose what creates greater and that is for me where there's an energy that excites you wherever i look in whatever direction i look for my creations i look where there's more joy where there is more um an energy I want to do things with and not, oh yes, that will be great. Cause then I, whatever, cause there is a solution in place then again, or an answer for again, some, maybe some problems or maybe some things that you have decided you have to figure out. 
What would happen if you didn't ever had to figure out a solution for something, but you're always willing to create more, more and more. And for me, when I say create more and more and more, it doesn't mean you have to do, do, do more and it's not harder work. For me, doing is not, I need to work hard. So in everywhere you, you think you have to work harder to create more, can we destroy and uncreate that? Good and bad, right, Rob? And fuck all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And everywhere you want to avoid working, can we destroy and create that? Good and bad, right, Rob? And fuck all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And anywhere you're working to have free time, can we destroy and create that? Good and bad, right, Rob? And fuck all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Because if you're willing to create the life you'd like to have, if you go into that direction, hey, I want to have more possibilities or I want to have more freedom of choice when I'd like to work. For example, I, I can say I've worked a lot, not last couple of weeks, but more than before that, a lot. And I never think about, oh, I work too much today. Oh, I can be too tired sometimes, like my body wants to rest, but I don't judge myself for putting more than whatever hours into and I work very different hours because when I create when I do things for my business almost all the time I really really like it and it gives me more energy there's things I have to do that I might not always want to do or feel like hey that's the most joyful thing I could do fine but those are like included because when I do them something else more shows up or something else shows up so uh, I'm not the greatest fan of driving a car. Might get better, but it's not my it's not my thing that oh yes, I want to drive through whole Europe. I've done it so many times now, so I'm like yeah, I can do it, but it's not like yeah. Um, but I also know when I invest that time in driving, I also reach some place where I will enjoy it a lot. So I also look at that and like because I can't oh I don't want to drive well then I won't get there. So there's, there's things that I look at where you invest things to create, but in every, so for example, then if I, and when I'm driving, I was like, Hey, what can I do today to make this a lot of fun? How much fun can I have on the road? And then I do different things and I stay in fun hotels and I call people and talk to them. So I create along the way. So I know that in every moment of my life, I can ask for things. So it's more fun even my bookkeeping, like I have a very complicated bookkeeping in Sweden, I would say, and it can take sometimes one or two days to do them just for the month. And once in a while, I'm like, really? And then like, how much fun can I have? And I, I learned, for example, for myself, that I do bookkeeping the best when I watch a movie or I do something else, or I don't always listen to classes. Because sometimes I get fried and then I'm like, the numbers do have to match. <laughs> It's really good if it's accurate, but I often, if I, if I watch a good Netflix series or watch a good movie while I do bookkeeping, it's perfect for me. So I learned how to use some things for me that work and inspire me better. Um, and this is the fun part. When you get to know how different you are, you can then start inviting more things. So a lot of the things that are so-called not so much fun can become more joyful. Are you willing to add joy to your life in every part of your day and every part of your creation? And if I change business, like for most people, business or, or their working place is work that has this energy of I have to work. I have to work to get money. And what if 2021 was the energy of creation with so much joy that you allowed everything to come and contribute to you and also the money to come and contribute to you too. Are you willing to allow money to contribute to your, to your life? So can money contribute to your life? I don't, know, I don't mean that it will pay for things, but it also does. But what contribution can money be to your life? It's a question I ask very often to myself. What points of views and judgments do I have with money or regarding to money, what it can and cannot contribute to my life? So everything that is times good ten, can we just try and create it? Get in bed, right? Rump and fuck all nine shirts, boys and girls. 
What if creation was the most fun thing in the world? And it meant that when you start asking questions, things can show up that are part of your being, the, the amazing energy and potency you have. So when you ask questions, you're tapping into a lot of awareness, a lot of potency, a lot of possibilities that you be. So when you be that, there is so much possible for information and awareness to show up that you can create from. So but if you don't ask the questions, you kind of don't get enough information to go beyond what you know. So that's what I love with the questions. Before I used to create, I used to try to figure out things I wanted to create that were like fun or different. And then I figure out how to do it. Like the steps, what do I need to do now to get there, to get to this result. Uh, and often included in a certain amount of money or a thing that I wanted to grow or whatever it is. But it was from my head, the steps I needed to figure out. The figuring out, I basically, bye-bye. Took a while to really get into this action where, where figuring out did not, I did not require anymore to figure out things. So I basically knew when I ask a question, the universe creates with me. That's the co-creation. That's basically me inviting the universe to create with me. But your head will try to figure out the how. It's very, it's very common. It's very popular. It's something we have learned. We learned it in school to know the answers. So this is where we kind of like almost practice ourselves into consciousness by asking questions. We start rolling in a new energy. We start using different thoughts in our heads. When thoughts like get more activated in different ways, you'll see your head also going there because there's a neurological, these, these like small streets in your brain and they get active. So you also get very, it's like almost like you practice into to a new way of creating and receiving. And when you ask a question, you're also accessing a different awareness. You're accessing consciousness in a different way. We are here on the planet and all of us are full of possibilities. We have awareness. Not everybody chooses to be conscious, but everybody is basically conscious, but then they choose unconsciousness or anti-consciousness for things they don't want to see or they have a point of view or they have a judgment or decided that's how the world is. Uh, and then you basically lock all the consciousness in you. And when you start asking questions, you start unlocking a lot of these things so you can access your potency, your potential, your possibilities. That's what the questions create with you. That's magic for me. Magic for me is the questions I'm willing to be. That is magic. Magic shows up when I invite it, when I ask about it. When I ask questions of creation, the magic, the universe starts rearranging and changing things and creating with me. I know that the universe creates with me. I love it. I don't know how, when, where, I don't know the result of it, but I know when I commit to things and I also challenge my th myself going beyond my comfort zone, it's like it, 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 it like invites me to even more, it gifts me even more. And I get quite, I can say I get surprised almost every day of things that show up quicker, um, different way than I expected. I'm like, but I just asked about it yesterday. And I was like, oh my God. It was it was yesterday. Also, I asked something about my jewelry business. And today, they, no, already yesterday, somebody connected with me and wanted a private showing. And I was like, I have only done that to friends. This is fun. Why haven't I even thought about that? And I was like, well, this is this is also a very different thing. So everything I'm willing to receive in my creations can also show up so much easier. So if I have a point of view that creating my business at the moment or having clients is hard because we have lockdown or whatever we have. No, if I have a point of view, something is hard. The universe has to help you to reinforce your point of view. It will show you. Yes, it's hard. I'm sorry. It's hard. And you will only look at the things that are connected to your point of view. 
Is it maybe more obstacles or different? Yes, for sure. But it doesn't have to be hard. And this is where, oh, what can I do differently? What can I choose here? What do I have to be and do to create something different here? And what possibilities are here due to the situation that I haven't even, that I'm not even inviting or I don't even know that are possible because I put myself in a box, it's hard. So everything you have already decided is hard to create for you. Will you destroy and create it? Yeah, sure. You have to be willing to destroy and create it because it's your creation. Okay, good, good and bad, right, wrong, but fuck all nine shorts, boys and girls. This is where it's really fun to look at because you have your points of views and we make them real. We also almost like look at the things to get validation of that the point of view is real. But if I did not have the point of view, I might be willing to be aware of something different. So if your job was to let go of your points of views, even if you like them, even if you like sharing them with other people, even if you believe they're right, what if you allow the universe to show you every point of view you have and your job is to let it go? Universe, can you show me everywhere I have a point of view? Can you show me every point of view I have that stops my creations? Like these are things I ask the universe to show me super clearly. And this is, you have to be aware that what you're asking for because it, it hits me like in the face then with it often, not always, but often. And I was like, that was intense. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, but I'd rather have it intense now and then wait for a longer time and see it a little bit. Like I want it changing now. So it's very easy to buy people's points of views, to buy somebody else's reality. It's very easy. But what if you were willing to create your own reality? I don't mean like your own laws or things like that. I mean your own reality. How does energy work for you? How do questions work for you? How does money work for, for and with you? How does the universe work, to get work together with you? This is where, how does, this, how does your reality look like? You can see how the reality looks for other people, but it's not something you convince yourself of. It's something you ask for, and then you get aware. Oh, this is how it works. What's magic for you? When I got clear on things like that, where I see, oh, oh, really? When I ask a question and, a, and I don't have a point of view, I can receive everything. That became so clear to me. Well, that is my reality. I like money and money likes me. That's my reality. But if I say that on the street to somebody, they're like, ah. <laughs> and And in my reality is also that money talks to me. I can talk to money. Money can talk to me. It is, it's conscious. It has energy. So we can talk together and have fun. I'm, I'm, I'm not locked up. So I'm still here. No, right. So if I tell that to everybody in the world, they might like, she's a bit nuts, but then I always laugh and, and, and have fun. But I, the funny part is I say this as sometimes I do say this openly, but people don't hear it. And I mean, if you go on Facebook, there's a lot of people that don't do access that know me. They still listen to my thing. I was like, I wonder what they hear when they hear me say so weird stuff. I still am very, so a little bit like curious. What, what do they hear? Because <laughs> we hear all different things, right? Um, sometimes I do ask them also, but they, they, they hear, you know, you always hear what your point of view is. And that's one of the fun things in general about things. But my reality is different than a lot of other people's reality, or it will be different than every person's reality, because we all are different. For me, talking to animals and allowing them to contribute with me, one of the most natural things in my life. It has been there since I grew up, like since a kid, but I didn't understand what that meant until I had to start talking about it to other people. I was like, uh, wait. And then I also got aware that people do it in a different way. I, for example, don't have the point of view how animals should talk to me. I ask them to show me, because I don't know. I ask them, hey, how do you talk? Can you show me how you, how you talk to me? Because it's very easy to, oh, they do this, this, and this. I'm like, no, I don't know. So I should have, I have to ask them. 
universe, how does it work with money? So I ask the universe to show me things that I don't know, but it's very easy for my head to decide how it should be. Your head tries to figure out almost everything because then you're smart, right? So I'm blonde. So what I do, I ask questions. I don't need to know everything and I don't have to figure out everything beforehand. Then if you're with people, you can always, you can always answer in different ways, of course. So that's not what you answer in the way you'd like to. But what if you don't have to have a solution of everything you'd like to create? If something's not fun for you, look at if you have a point of view about it. See if you can change that. If not, might be more fun to do something else. There's no right way of marketing business plans or projects or creations. There's many different ways. And there's ways that work for some people. They might not work for you in that moment. Or they might work, work later or might never work. But if you decide they have to work because it worked for somebody else, that's when you start cutting off your awareness. You start cutting off your awareness. And if you're willing to ask, hey, what will it take to create that? How much fun can I have with all these things? Do I want to add this to my business? Do I want to add that? What can I create here? Do I want to, do I want to get to know more things? Uh, there's always possibility of learning more things. I, I, I'm very curious of learning new systems. I don't always implement them and use them, but I'm willing to get information of them because it might be now, future, I don't know, but I'm very curious to know what's being created. I look often at statistics and things like that on social media, but it doesn't mean for me, I don't draw any conclusions. Oh, nobody liked the thing. No, but everybody read it. That's the weird stuff. Because I get to hear that afterwards from people when I don't know if something's like, do they even notice? I asked the universe the next day, two, three people, listen, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, okay, yes, they do. Okay, interesting. But I don't expect things of the, what I do. So nice. I continue creating, asking, and willing to do be and do more. So what would be fun to create in 2021 that you don't believe that you can create? What have you decided is not possible for you? What have you decided is not possible for you? All that, can we just try and create that? Good and bad, right, wrong, put and poke, all nine shorts, boys, melts. <laughs> Me too, Asima. <laughs> what have you decided is not possible for you? And what have you bought into that you think it's not possible for you? What limitation do you make re more real than the possibility that is there for you to choose? Everything that is good and bad, right? Romp, romp, pock, all nine shorts, boys, beyond. What do you not believe is possible for you to create? What have you decided is not possible? The fun part also, when you have decided, you sometimes don't even know that you'd like to choose something in that direction anymore. Because if I decide it's not possible, I can really like, like put it away, like put it on unconsciousness. I don't need to deal with that one anymore. And so like, it might be the most fun thing, but you already decided at some point that's not possible because somebody comments something. You know, you sometimes have something from your childhood that somebody said, that's not going to work or you can't do that or blah, blah, blah. And he's like, wow, it can, it can affect you until you decide you would like to choose something in that direction. And I say direction because it might not look the same way that you have had before, but it might be similar. So if everything, so, so if everything is possible, for me, it's like, what are the infinite possibilities? I think there's an energy and space. There are infinite possibilities. Then there's things that I decide to, they're too expensive or there's too much hard work. I need different knowledge. You don't have to do things on your own either. It can be collaboration of different people. It can show up. You don't have to figure it out today either. 
So this is where when you get clear on an energy or a direction of something and you have this sense like, wow, that has an energy, you know, you just don't stop. For me, it's like the animal world. I don't stop thinking or asking questions about it. Uh, and I want to create a place with lots of animals. I'm like, that does not stop being part of me. So I, I continue asking about that. And that's the fun. Even just asking the questions creates so much joy for me that I'm like, whoa, this is just the start of it. This is awesome. And then I continue. But if I'm not willing to choose it every day, there's a different energy in it. So, so if I look at like uh, creations and commitment, this is the, oh boy, this was a challenge for me in the beginning uh, when I heard about it. Uh, when Gary and Dane, this is again, the lies lines manipulation class, but the first one. And um, he brought up Gary commitment, committing to. So for example, Gary commits to whatever he chooses. Like if it's a class, if it's a project or whatever, it is, and he never gives up. He doesn't, he doesn't ever, hardly ever cancel anything. That's, that's not his, he commits 100% to something and he's willing, always willing to create it. So if I doubt it's possible, I'm not really willing to commit. If I, he's, one of the examples he said about commitment that was for me so clear what he meant with it was that he said, if you were truly committed to your body, you would never, ever judge it, ever. And I was like, uh, ew. <laughs> it was like, oh God, should I say? <laughs> it was just like, was so clear. Um, okay, I didn't even know what that meant then. Um, okay, this is a new world to me, commitment. And then I looked how committed I am at to my business. At that point, it was like 20, 30%. And I was creating a lot. And I was like, for me, without, because you can't compare when you're looking at commitment or your creations. If you compare, you might put your soul, well, I'm doing so much. But it has nothing to do comparing with somebody else. It's your potency, your energy, your, your whatever you can create. Uh, and it's not from your brain. It's the energy and know it's possible. We avoid that a lot. Because then we, we would never fail if we were really committed to everything. Fail, fail and success is also maybe a different definition, but we would, we would constantly create and change things all the way if we were truly committed. We're present with things. We don't doubt. We don't check out. We don't have excuses. Do you know this word, excuses? Why something doesn't work? Um, so all these creative ways of stopping you or making it less possible to create something that is what we use when we're not willing to be committed or less committed but you can if you're willing to be committed to things you would not allow that to be in your way you would find ways and possibilities you would ask questions you would continue creating you wouldn't stop because you start doubting or you're scared, or you're afraid, or you're, oh, I don't know how to do it. You don't, you're not supposed to know the how. That was the universe. <laughs> so that is the way we stop our commitments is all these different distracting plans or judgments or points of views or conclusions or expectations. Um, I remember when I started doing access classes, I did put them on the access website that nobody knew no, knew about in, in Europe, basically. There was very few countries that access was even active. And, but I knew that was an energy of supporting my business. And I also did posts on Facebook. That was also not, nobody knew what access was at that time. Um, there were no groups. There was no country groups. Like now there was like nothing. And what I also knew then at that time, I could not expect from posting on Facebook something and posting something on the Access website that anybody would show up to a class. I basically could expect that nobody showed up if I didn't do more than that. So I had to be in the question all the time, what was required for this class? Like constantly in the question to get more awareness. And I tried out thousands of things and some with more success of engaging with people and getting connected with them and some with less, but it had to, it had constantly the energy of going with things, going into action, 
talking to people. And whenever I talked, I got also more awareness because people always have information for you, not logically, but it's magically for me. So if I have a question about something in my creation and I talk to a client, that's why I call people quite often as much as I can. Then they pop up and say something. I'm like, uh, they have no clue that they just gave me the information that I was asking for, but they have no clue. It has not the context that they know about it, but it gave me all the information I required. I don't know how many times I have really thanked people that I know. Thank you so much. You have no idea how helpful you just were with me. And I might've been facilitating or helping them and they were so grateful, but I got exactly what I was asking. I'm like, oh my God. And this is the magic of creation interacting with the world. It is possible everywhere. But if you have decided, oh, I have to do this, this, and this, and then it works. Oh, I have to do this Facebook Live and this post and da, 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 da. That's when you are in doing, 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 instead of creating and asking questions and being this this creation of energy. Because in energy, there's always possibilities. And consciousness will talk to you. Your creations will talk to you. They'll give you like an input. And you're like, Hmm. I always ask my creations to let me know if, if something's required. I also like, let me know what else I can do, what else I can be, what else is possible here. And then the new ideas sometimes pop and sometimes not. And this is, we're all different here. But I also know a creation has consciousness. It doesn't mean it will do everything for the creation because I'm still required. I'm on the planet. I'm the person. It's like when my dog needed a dog sitter, I would tell Sinya, hey, Sinya, we need a dog sitter for this class because you're not flying with me to Australia or Costa Rica or whatever. And she like, what? <laughs> no, no, no. When she started coming to access classes, I had to be really clear that she's not coming with me because she liked it. She liked coming to the classes and all that. And I was like, no, 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 not to this one. And and she, she would create, but I also knew she would create her. I, I trust that there was also a dog sitter for her. That I knew. But when they came the day before I was flying, I didn't really appreciate that too much. <laughs> so I had to give her more clarity on that. But I told Sinit, you have to reach out and find the people where you want to be. I will be the voice. So I needed to put it on Facebook, talk to people, call people. So I was the voice. I was the interaction. But I also knew, and this is where I got a lot of trust in the universe, seeing how the interaction worked with animals because there is no difference if I'm interacting with an animal or with my business or my jewelry or with my class. I mean, how, how does my dog find a dog that I don't even know of, that exists? And the person contacts me after I ask Sinia to make sure that they connect with me. This is where after many of these episodes, uh, it became so freaking clear and the energy between us was the thing that was the communication. And if I ask a question, there was an energy and I could also give her jobs to do. And this is one thing I see a lot of animals are so freaking bored, like beyond boredom, because people are not engaging with them in their creations, in their lives, in their everything. Like if it's your job or um, if it's your business or if it's your relationships or uh, dating or whatever. No? Um, just be aware of what you ask them to create. <laughs> they might have a little bit of fun with you too. Um, but yeah, they have so much possibilities. They're basically waiting for you to ask them uh, to contribute. So please, if you have animals around you, please ask them to work with you, to play with you. And then you also have to be willing to look what would they like to get out of it. So there was a lot of creations where I gave Sinia the clarity what it would also bring her. And she loved that. That was really fun to see that. And she didn't need it always, but it was very fun to see the energy of that because that was kind of like a little bit of a deal and deliver. Uh, when I was starting to move to Spain the winters, I was like, we have to create more money here too because this is what I have and this is what I have. And I so I gave her a perspective. It was like a business meeting. Um, and then we can do this, this, and this. We'll be outdoors. We'll be doing this. We'll be doing this kind of as a beginning thing. And, and it began much smoother things. Things became so easy. And it was so magical, the things that showed up. And there were a lot of creations that would never have occurred if I hadn't had her with me. Um, and asking her to help me find certain locations. And, and you know, my horse in my hotel would have never occurred if Sinia didn't show me where I was going. And um, 
So there's a lot of things that can contribute to you that you don't know about because you can't figure them out with your head. But if you start, like if you really look, like if you have a business or a job, what if you asked it, hey, what contribution can I be to you? And you then tap into your business or your workplace. Hey, what contribution can you be to me? And not, oh, it's not bringing enough money or I don't like my colleagues. Like what contribution can I be here? If I'm working here, I might as well commit to my work, even if it's just the next half year. If I am complaining, I'm not committing. I'm not creating. I'm complaining. So be aware what you'd like to create, because every complaint creates an energy. But if you're willing to commit, I love when people are employed and they, they're, they're basically complaining about their job. But I was like, if I was employing you, I did not want to have you as my employer, um, employee, because basically you're bringing that energy. And then the funny part is you do expect your salary, right? <laughs> I would love, like, if you energetically are not committed, I'm sorry, you're not getting your paycheck. <laughs> that would be hilarious, because then people would have to commit to their job as if it was their business but most people don't do that so we can't really expect that but it's interesting the person paying you the business paying you money what energy are you towards that so your business what you're creating with for example what energy are you with that your clients so all your creations you have what energy are you willing to be so what contribution are you willing to be not trying to figure it out it's like hey what contribution can i be and then also, hey, what contribution can it be to me? Not I expect this, like what contribution from an energy of generosity? Like we're here on this planet. We're here really on this planet. It's a very interesting planet, but we are here at the moment and we chose to be here. You guys have bodies. I see you, most of you. Um, I can definitely perceive a lot of you, but this is a fun part. What contribution can we be to another? And this is, I also, I ask my business to expand beyond where I am, country, space, to embody everything it can be and everything I have no idea it can be. Because it's very easy for my head to like try to define my business and stuff. We have a little bit of a picture of a business. So I just try and create everything I, my definitions about my business. Uh, my expectations, my projections, everything that has been so far. So I go and destroy and create it, good and bad, right, wrong, put and fuck, all nine shirts, boys and meals. I allow there also to be space in my business and invite everybody that wants to contribute, be part, create, and everywhere I can be a part and create and contribute to other people. So there's an energy that you can be with all the tools that you know and use them in different aspects. The thing that I'm aware of is, or the thing I look a lot is, is if I'm trying to solve something that I've decided I have a problem with, because then I will only go very narrow-minded. I might have to solve this problem anyway, but then I also want to go beyond that and invite more and invite and allow your business to create and know that your business can create. You still need to be there. You still need to be the voice. You still need to be physically embodying things. But what if you also acknowledge and knew your business can create? So what definitions do you have about your business that are limiting the possibilities it can be? So everything that is time succeeding, can we just try and create that? Good and bad, right, wrong, put and fuck, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. So all the definitions you have about your workplace or your business or your creations, can we just try and create that? Good and bad, right, wrong, put and fuck, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. And all the expectations you have. All your expectations. And this is a good one to do often. All your expectations of what your business or your job or your creations should be delivering or should be creating. Can we just try and create that? Get in bed right now. Put a park ball in my shirts, boys and beyonds. We might have to do that one. <laughs> Expectations are interesting because they stop your awareness. They really get in the way of what, 
because information cannot arrive if you have an expectation it's basically like you're laser pointing something instead of like what else is possible what's truly because what else is possible is one of the biggest gifts i see of a question if you're willing to connect with the energy of that question you can use questions like i've done my questions i've said it five times i've done them or you engage and connect with the energy when you're asking it are you willing to receive what you're asking for are you willing to receive what you're asking for so everything doesn't allow that can we try to create that good and bad right wrong from fuck all my shorts boys and meals and then the next thing is again like what have you decided what have you decided that you cannot create or what have you decided that's not possible for you What if you wrote down five things that you have decided that are impossible for you or not possible for you? Just to look at the energy, but if they were possible, what would what would be what would happen? What things would have would would change in my life if I created them? Like for example, with money, it's one of the interesting things I've seen when people start generating more money, they get aware of the things they cannot say or do anymore. So some of the limitations they made real do not work anymore some of the complaints do not have space anymore they you can say them but they they are just such a lie and a lot of people want to don't want to let it go of things that they're used to say or do and this is for me the adventure like with wealth is one of the energies because it's not defined by the amount of money you have, it's a lot more defined by the energy you're willing to be, the generosity, the contribution, the possibilities, and also that it includes money. So it has a very different space if you're willing to allow wealth to be part of your creations, about your, your life. And, and this is the whole thing about prosperity consciousness um, that the Bowmans write a lot about and, and target a lot because it has a different energy than just asking for money. Money follows when you follow joy, follow creation, you can always avoid money, but what if you're always willing to include money? What if you're always willing to include money in everything you create, but it's not about the money? What if you're always willing to include money, but it's not about the money? What if you always allowed money to contribute to you? So if you look at money, what if the, because I was like, huh, if, if this is not the Swedish, not everybody knows the Swedish money. We have some nice ones too. <laughs> um, even if they're very rare, I would say in Sweden at the moment. No, I'm just joking. It's getting better. Um, what if the purpose of money was not, how can I spend this? What will I do with this? before you even have it. Some people already do it before they have it. That's a tricky one. That's very interesting. Don't do it. <laughs> and then looking at, oh, here's, here's, the, here's the bridge that you go from Denmark to Sweden. If you come so far, you might go over the bridge. <laughs> um, very interesting to see if you're willing to have money and not define it what it will do for you or be for you. but you could always ask it to create with you, for you, with you and for you, with you and for you. Simona, talk to your birds. Allow them, she has, Simona Rantes is a, is a friend of mine in, in Brazil. She has amazing birds. If you have meetings with her, they talk a lot. <laughs> oh, and they're amazing. I'm like, oh my God, they, they, they like, when you post something, I almost like hear them talking. I'm like, yes, she needs to talk to you guys more. Yes, she does. Um, include them way more in your creations. And like everything in your like, if, for me, it's like if I talk to an animal or I talk to my business or I talk to this, it has the same energy for me. It's just different. I forget sometimes that this has the same energy as if I was talking to an animal. Energetically, it can contribute in so many ways. It will have different energies. I have 
I'm so grateful for everything that Sinya showed me because it was easier for me to receive from an animal. It was just easier, but it doesn't mean it's easier. It's just a way. So if you have, if you find, if you find an area in your life that you're willing to receive easier or like with ease, then I know it's possible in every area. If you have one area, look at one area in life where you're willing to create with total ease, where there's something that's super easy, it flows, you're having fun, it contributes, all that. Look at that, how, like get aware of what you're choosing there, not how you're doing, just the energy of it, what you're willing to be there. Then you can apply that in all areas of your life. Ah, yeah. Please ask for their contribution and give them jobs, give them tasks, give them like, hey, I require your contribution here or like, hey, what contribution can you be? But, you know, guys, if, if we have this and this, this will work much easier with you guys too. like have fun conversation with them. But do request contribution, do request help. And and sometimes when I couldn't figure out things, you know, I could think too. I would ask Sinia just like, hey, Sinia, can you show me something different? Because I'm stuck in this. I'm stuck in this point of view. I'm stuck in this way. I would ask her. And this is like, for me, like asking the universe, universe, what can I do different here? I don't know. I have no idea how to change this. Can you show me a different possibility? So anywhere you're stuck, it doesn't work. It's hard. Ask the universe to show you something different ask but ask more than once and be very clear that you're requiring this and you're willing to receive it because when it shows up it will show up very different at least with me it feels that the universe is always having a joke with me always always and i I'm, at the moment i'm so used to it so i'm like oh yeah thank you <laughs> it's just fun um but it always shows me a different possibility and then i have to choose something right so ask this is where whatever energy is the easiest to talk and ask to and with, use that. None of them are right and none of them are better or perfect. But this is for me the magic of creation because every molecule wants to contribute to you. We just don't allow it. So if you start like doing a little bit more in an area where it's already easy for you, already fun, already because there are areas, some people have a really great ease when like talking to to anything when they're in the shower or when they're cooking or when because that energy is there because there's no expectations or you just have ideas so use that more to your advantage and acknowledge that you already doing it you have to also willing to acknowledge what is working and where you're doing things that are working for you because then you are also having you're owning that energy like oh oh i can't create because what humanoids have a tendency is to always find things that do not work, or I'm not good enough there, or I can't do it there. It's not working there. Now that might be correct, but there, there are things that are working amazingly. Those acknowledge them, be willing to be them even more, like really, okay, own it. Okay, I'm good at this. This works for me. Nobody else needs to know, but you need to know for you. Because then you're basically opening up the door even more to that awareness that you're having already. And if you just dismiss it, that's where you're also almost like slamming the door in, the, in your own face. Because um, there are things that you're already doing so easily, you don't even think that they're, that they're magical or working for you because you you're not thinking. You're just doing it, being it, it works. You might be asking a question and it works again. But you have to be willing to see your magical or you're willing to be magical. Because uh, if you start acknowledging them, you might stop judging you a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more because judgment just stops everything. There's, I don't know, most of the people around, like in the world, if you go out and I would tell them how I create things, they would think I'm really strange, right? <laughs> I would still say it to them, but I know there's going to be an interesting conversation. If I say I have leadership trainings, everybody thinks they know what that means. If I have a, a horse classes or communication with animals, everybody has some kind of definition of that. And I can feel like, and I can perceive their universe in the moment when I say one word, what I work with or coaching, I can perceive what they think it is. And I get like, I feel that I get like strapped into a box 
in that moment, I just have to expand. It's not my way of creating. It's not my way of looking at coaching. It's their interpretation, their point of view. So when I talk to people, I'm aware of this, that my world looks absolutely totally different than their, they, their world and what they think and project at me. So just be aware when you talk to people, everybody has a point of view. It's not a real one. You don't have to convince them. You don't have to explain everything. You can talk about it. Be willing to hear what they can, willing to listen to what they can hear. So you get aware of that. So you don't try to convince them and try to talk too much. Let them have their point of view about you. Let them have the picture they have. It's not you. It's just their definition of you. It's not real. Don't try to convince them. They will never understand it. Ever. But you can inspire them to look at something different. So what are the things that you are so magical that you're not willing to show anybody because you don't believe it's true? So everywhere you're avoiding to be you, can we just try and encourage that? You magical you? Get a better at Rumpur and Park online shirts, boys and girls. What area would you like to talk about when it comes to creation? Is there anything I have not, I can talk a lot more about all of these areas. Um, is there anything that you're wondering about a little bit more? Are you willing to allow everything to contribute to you? Are you willing to demand of yourself to be committed? What if you allowed money to contribute to you? You can play with, I, sometimes I play with numbers, what I wanna make as well, like earning. Uh, I do know it's a limitation. I do know I often hit the numbers, but I only do it when it's playful, never from, oh, that would be good to have, or I wanna create that. I was like, oh, that would be interesting. I would like to experience that, or I would like to, have, that would be fun. So when it, pops up in me I choose it but you're all different this is where I think this is just from my perspective how I create with the fun of it but I also see I had to go through a lot of things to get there to know how I how I function instead of how I thought it would be better and I would be more successful and I would get uh, more efficient I, I have gone through so many things um, and trying to figure out things until I'm like oh god this is easier than I thought but it does require a lot more of me. I cannot cut off my consciousness. I can't check out. I, I have to be willing to be present. And the information is there all the time. The knowledge, sometimes like I do have to read a book or sometimes I have to take class to learn something. Uh, if I wanna, if I don't know anything about this area, I can't just like ask a question and everything will miraculously be there. Sometimes I sometimes have to learn something too. And that's the fun when I'm in action learning things. There's a lot more information like, like almost like arriving, but that's me. And you might be different. Then this is where I don't want this is what you're supposed to do. These are the possibilities and see what works for you. Try them out, ask questions. I do know when we engage with the universe and allow consciousness and the universe to create with us and we know they're great business partners, it, it, it is a different world. But nobody really understands that. We still might need a physical business partner in this world too. Um, you, might, you also might want an accountant that is really good with numbers. I'm so grateful I have mine. Um, 
So you want to learn everything from this world. I, I learn a lot about the rules and regulations because then I can also see, hey, what really works with me? If I have to, I strategize as well. Like this summer when I was traveling through Europe, I needed to know all the rules and regulations of all the countries, what to do, what I have to, what, what's required. Not, I hope it will work. I will ask if it's live today. I will also wanted, to, I did both. So I did ask when to arrive and all that, but I also wanted to know what do I have to know about the country? What are their rules and regulations? So don't avoid knowing the facts of something, but don't make them real. Don't make them the obstacle to stop you. It's just information. I like information because what I've what I learned from Gary was get the information, then you also will know how to handle things. You'll know what things you have to say or you need to prepare yourself with things. That's one thing that was such a gift he showed us when we were in New Zealand at a class when somebody flew in and it didn't work out. Um, there was just a couple of things. I don't want to go into details here, but he showed us what is required to be prepared, but it's from possibilities and not from limitations. But know the facts, know the information, because information will always give you more and then your awareness, you will be able to extrapolate with questions and things like that. That's just amazing. You will also see strategies of things that you didn't know. Um, and you will also be able to get a lot different information in areas as well. Because you have some knowledge has this energy of like, there's an energy. There's not, but they're not like the truth or the only thing. They're good to have. And then you have this amazing world of possibilities like amazing world of possibilities. It's like if you have a plant and you have no idea if it's supposed to get water or light or sun or not sun, it's good to have a tendency to know something about the plant, but then you can have like, hey, what would you like? Oh, you're a little dry. Maybe you want some water. Like it's good to know some things, right? Otherwise they die easier. <laughs> so there's, there's just simple information. And I'm bringing a little stupid example. But this is what I see with a lot of people when it comes to money in their business. They're not willing to have clarity. They're not willing to be clear with incomes and expenses and awareness about money or assistance with banks and things like that. They just not. They just avoid it and think, "Oh, I just have to ask for more money." I'm like, "Yeah, maybe you want to do everything and be aware about your business and the systems that it, that are there supporting you as well." Um, don't allow them to take over your life, um, but are willing to see what else is possible. So the more information you have, the more fun you can have for certain things. And, uh, and also when people try to life to you, you know, you already know the information. So you sit there, huh, this is very interesting. Thank you. And then you like the, uh, the weird energy that you have, you can, you can understand why. So the world is, for me, it's a very interesting world but you can navigate it if you're willing to be in the question, if you're willing to create, and if you're willing to know that you are that potent, that you have the possibilities, you are potent. Potent is for me, you have the energy of creating and if you never give up, you will find a way where it's possible. Don't have to work hard or bang your head into the wall, but you also have to be willing then to manipulate, have fun, create with this world, not make this world real and you have to fight it anywhere you're fighting this world. Are you willing to destroy and create it? <laughs> fighting does not create uh, as much. Well, it, it stops you from creating the magical world that you can have. And fighting often entails right and wrong. So then it becomes a very, it's hard work. And you can do it, of course, if you enjoy that, you can do it. So you can basically do anything you'd like. But how much fun can you have with this world? And especially now, how many possibilities are popping up now because of the situation that we are in? And are you willing to be aware of them, use them, grasp them, have fun with them, and use it to your advantage? So what are the infinite responsibilities for you, your business, your creations, your life? Are you willing to tap into them? Are you willing to look at 2021 through infinite possibilities? And one thing also, when you, when you get aware of something in the future, 
one thing that Gary said that you, you can pull the future into the now. And it's just something you do. It's just like, oh, you have an energy that you feel like it's further away in time. Just pull it into the now. It's not a head thing. It's just an energy to do, to have it here and now and create from now. Willing to destroy all your relationships, destroy and create your business every day or your job and all that. Um, ask questions, willing to engage with it. So if it was your business partner, you can talk with it as if you're talking with me. What would you say? What would you do? If you it was your partner, like if you have a partner at home, if you're in a relationship, if they're doing access, you can also contribute with each other and destroy and create your relationship together, ask each other questions. But this is what I ask my business to do with me too. So it will give me like a um, idea or, or an impulse. And then I go, okay, wait, what do I have in, uh, what do I want to do today? What did I not? What questions have I been asking? Who can I call? Like every day, what, what, what can I be and do to create something different or more or with ease? Then who can I call? Who can I connect and engage with? Uh, what's required? What's my business require for me? And which business requires something of me today? How much fun am I willing to have? How much ease am I willing to have? How much money am I willing to have? Not how much money am I willing to spend, how much money I'm willing to have. And you don't have to have numbers, but it's more the energy of willing to have it in my life. How much fun are you willing to have with everything in your life? If you look into 2021, just from the awareness of where you're today, so look at the first things that show up. What would you like to create for 2021? Ask for it several times. Look at different things. Just join and create the first thing that pop into your, into your head. More fun, cool. And look at that for, like, I, I really, it's really, I've done it for a couple of weeks now and I'm not trying to fill my calendar with everything because I want to see where the spaces are or different things. And I'm getting more awareness about things. And I will start, because a lot of people are asking me at the moment, I'll start being, doing more things. But I was like, I gifted myself the possibility just to be in the question, just to allow things. And we're all different. You don't need this space, but I just want to, I wanted to do something different this time. Um, and that's why I'm like, oh, I want to have these calls again. I forgot. I had them last year too. I listened to the one I had last year, a couple of days ago. It was really fun. Now I don't even know if it was English or German. That was funny. Um, my, my language is sometimes just mixed. And then I just know that I did something in some language. Um, but it's fun to see where, what are things that I have chosen that are different now uh, throughout the year that I committed to being, because often I commit to being something different and choose something different in my life. Um, and it's been an incredible journey and adventure and also getting to know myself in different ways and also allowing things to contribute to me without me understanding or figuring out everything. What if the universe was your best business partner? What if consciousness was your best business partner or creation partner or creator? But it's not giving them the, the giving them, giving um, consciousness the responsibility. It's not, you're the creator. You're the source creator. Everything creates with you and contributes with you. So choice creates, it's your choice, not, ah, oh, the universe, can you tell me what's right? Then I'll choose it. No, your choice. Choice creates, when you choose, choice creates. You do have to choose, no matter what, choice creates. So don't forget, it's your choice that's really the contribution to this planet too. Not trying to figure out what's the right, it's like choice. And when you choose, you'll have more information. More fun, now let's really ask for a lot more fun 2021. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> and then when you look at something and it doesn't like it looks weird or hard, just really go in and destroy and create it because you don't know if it's going to be like that. Like, for example, if you say, Oh, I can't afford that, how do you know if you'll have the money in a month or two? I can't go to that because blah, blah, blah. How do you know? 
I only know what's correct today, what's here today. I don't even know what's in the next 10 minutes. So be willing to be aware where you also stop yourself because you have some kind of point of view about something. Any last questions or energies or things that you wanted me to address? I saw something that Dane started doing something at this moment when we started. I can't. <laughs> There's a lot of action this Sunday evening <laughs> out in our online communities. That's really a lot of fun. Um, and if there's anything I can contribute with or you have anything you'd like to share with me, please send me a message. I'm really happy. Sometimes it takes a little time to answer, but I read everything I receive. So I'm really happy for a lot of the inspiration people are in my life and the contribution. So I'm really, really grateful. I'm also really grateful you guys showed up today and I hope some of it or a lot or whatever um, was some kind of contribution. Uh, so what contribution can I be to your world, to your creations? And also really just being willing to be that energy to everybody. Oh, thank you, Julie. From Montreal. Always get me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I want to hear about the parrots. You want to... <laughs> Oh, I would have to, this would be fun. I might have to do one of these calls, just how we create with animals and, and how do we create 2021 if we're an animal and how do, what do we have to do with our owners? <laughs> I'll give you the ideas. What do we do with the owners? <laughs> oh God. Thank you so much. Thank you around the world. This is very, it's fun to have all of you on. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really just grateful to be here with all of you. And I'll send out the recording in case there's something you want to re-listen or you didn't have time to make a note. So, And have fun creating everything in your life. Um, this is an amazing time. It's almost like if we're willing to be really present now and choose, there's a lot of space of choosing because a lot of people are on a waiting list almost. And choose, create now. There's just amazing possibilities. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Thank you, beautiful messages. Thank you so much. Oh. I will definitely send it to you guys.